hello guys uh today we'll be working on the volume read instruction on the volume read instruction if you have uh, a bit of experience with Jota plc you will see there are two knobs here these two knobs here if you ever wonder what they are used for i know some people they just ignore and they don't really care what they are used for but they are very important especially when you run out of ios or when you run out of um like um a solution to improvise on something so i'm gonna give you like examples where you can apply this so these two posts now they work with what you call the volume read volume read instruction the one that you are seeing on the screen there so i'm gonna show you how to use this instruction i'm gonna show you how to use this instruction so when you turn this port within the poc you get a value so the VR, the VR, remember saying volume read, the instruction is VRRD. The volume read is, um, the VR stands for a variable. It's, uh, which means there are like two, two potentiometers in the one, two, zero, and one. Okay, so uh, I'm going to just jump into the PLC side and then I'll just do an example. So if you take a look, um, each, each port has got a range of zero to 255. So when you turn this port, you get a value from 0 to 255 um, and then uh, this is where you get your your values these are the yeah, like a registers the de facto registers where you get values for vr0 vr0 is the one which is on the left i don't know if you can see the zero the vr1 is one on the right so it's d1178 but you don't just get d1178 so you must switch on this post so by switching on this post you must enable m1178 okay so we're just gonna jump to our isp soft okay oh uh, so i'm gonna say load m1000 equip one uh, out m1178 out m1179 Okay, so I've enabled the knob, the knobs, um, knob variable resistor one and variable resistor two, which is a zero and one, in fact, zero and one. So uh, in order for us to get this data, load M1000, M1000 is always on, this is actually, I always use this in my tutorials. So I'm going to use move. So I just need a 16 bit move register because, um, I'm working on um, 0 to 255, which is a small value, and then move again. So remember, it's simple. This number will correspond to the data register where we're going to receive our value D1178, right? And then D1179, sorry, D1179. And then my data, I want my data. Where am I going to? Collect my data from D0 and from uh, D, D1. Okay. Right. So I'm going to download this into the POC. But take note, the POC that I choose is a, I choose a DVP20 uh, SX2. There are some POCs which does not come with these ports here. So you must be careful. It doesn't apply to any POC. It only applies to a POC with these on board. So it's not like for every PLC. So I'm just gonna download now. Transfer. Okay. So it goes going in. You can see it's flicking on RS485 because I'm using an RS485 cable here. This one also is a programming port, you can use it, but this is RS232. Okay, um, I'm gonna go online. Right, as you can see, it's in stop mode. This this lever, this switch here is down, so I must push it up, and then now I'm in run. You can see the stage has just changed here at the bottom to run. So um, we are now running. Our knobs are on. This is what we have. So I'm gonna go to knob number zero, and then if I start turning this one down, you can see there's a value which is going down on a D1178, it's going down. If I turn it clockwise, it's gonna start going up again. So I go to this one, it's gonna start going down as well. Right, 
you see so that's how you use these ones that's how you use this one so uh where do we apply this now where do we apply this so um, it might happen sometimes that um there is a machine a machine that doesn't have an hmi or that doesn't have a port or any panel that you need like to fine tune there's just some machine which are just pre-built and then no screen no what you must just run in sequence and then maybe there's a timer in the everything is just running fixed you don't have room to adjust any parameter within the machine you see so on those machines now to buy a an extra potentiometer is gonna cost you i don't know how much maybe it means like you're on site and someone must go and buy to the shops you come you must wire it you, it must be like uh, on the panel as well for easy operation so how long is that gonna take you and then um the other thing is for you to get an hmi that's a lot of money now you must also program that hmi but the thing that you want to do is just maybe to want to adjust the speed of a motor you see maybe the speed of a motor is being controlled by the plc but the plc has got a pre-stored speed you see in the in the program so how do you adjust the speed so you can use this post now instead of going and buying an external port and why external port here yeah, remember this one is but also alan look inputs to why an external port and that's a lot of work and time and money as well you already have the onboard pre-built plc ports here so uh this is for fine tuning maybe it's a labeling machine you just want to um, increase the speed of the stepper or increase the spouses or the length you can still use these you, you it's just some like a small fine tune and uh, if you want larger values also you can use the scaling i've done a an example on scaling uh, in one of my videos just go and check on my youtube channel so you can put in a value like 0 to 255 but then you can scale this to a bigger value let's say it's from 0 to 50,000 you'll be scaling this to that bigger range if you want a bigger value okay so you have seen how this one works so i'm gonna show you a practical example so i'm just gonna uh, do this um and then uh, there's d1178 so i'll come i've got to turn a small program at the bottom here so that you can see mm -hmm. okay let me do this is the fastest way let me go online and then online edit okay and then i do this do this right uh, and then uh, as you can see um on my plc i don't know if you can see there's a small blinking led that's going up here it goes off on so uh, what i'm going to do now i want to change this this is a program of a blinking led so you can have an led that is switching on off on for one second off for one second on for one second or something like that so i want to show you how you can play around with uh with these instructions so now i make i made it like um one second on one second off i think you can see it I don't know if you can see it nicely. There it goes. One second on, one second off. So this is the program. The program starts here. We're on network three, network four, network five. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, to edit here. It's D D one one seven eight like that, and then D one one seven nine okay but this value is too big so i must turn this port all the way down all the way down and then this one all the way down like that okay and then i download this program mm, so it can be um a star delta delay you see you don't need an hmi for changing star delta delay time you don't need um, a, a port to change start delta time maybe from um, from moving from start to delta maybe the three seconds you want it to pro, to move to be like four seconds just do this if if your circuit is wired in the plc so there's a lot of this is normally on uh, improving a system or just fine tuning a bit so now i'm going to tune the one on the left remember 10 10 a number like 10 represents a, a second so i'm going to tune it slowly there's a one, four, five, 
six, seven, ten. So that ten is a is a one second. That ten is a one second. Okay. Oh, it's now on eleven. So it's just like a small fine tune that I must. I must just drop it a bit. So, okay. I'm gonna leave it there. And then this one, I'm gonna raise it up again to to a value like oh, it's on nine as well. So nine ten. So you can see my blinking LED now is back on, but it's using. I'm not changing the the values manually. I'm changing. I'm mean like uh, from the HMI or what. I'm just using these to change values of blinking LED. So now a uh, D117, you see, according to my program, is the amount of time it takes when it's off. So if I increase this one to 20, um, so guys, if this is very helpful to you or you are benefiting from it or you are learning something new, just click the subscribe button. Thanks for your support in advance. I really appreciate it. Okay. Mm, oh, okay, okay. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm turning the wrong one. Okay, but anyway, it's fine. This is for... Okay, all right. This is for the amount of it takes when it's on. So it's a simple program. It's a good program as well. You can use it whenever you want. So it's on, off, on, off, on, off. So now we've got um, two seconds with this thing on. It's like two seconds. Remember, a 20 is two seconds because you're using a 100 millisecond time base. Our time here is a 100 millisecond time base. I think, uh, I don't know if I did a tutorial about this, but if I did not, I'm, I'm going to do it. Okay, so 12 seconds on is nine nine like a half is a one second nine is one second one second on so i'm gonna increase the this one to let's say fifty so this is five seconds off two seconds on okay there you go One, two, three, four, five. And it goes on. So that's it, guys. Uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button. This is it about uh, using the the VRRD instruction. The VRRD instruction. Uh, that's how you normally work with this one. Um, like I said, if you want a bigger value to scale in on a bigger value, let's say you want to scale this to increase the temperature set point, you must use um, scaling. You must scale. You can make this value bigger by scaling proportional parameter calculation. I already did a, a tutorial about that. So thank you once again, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Okay.